his nose. And then notice how this dead leaf that I'm just picking up off of the ground. Notice how this green leaf is, this, or this dead leaf, it's not green leaf. But notice how this leaf, this dead leaf, is the same color as the coloration on his back. And he's being really cooperative this evening. Thank you, little frog, for letting me show this. See, it's the same burnt umber and raw sienna. A little bit of burnt sienna in there. Same coloration for the spots on the back of the frog. And if you notice also around these spots is that yellow green again. And we can pick up some of this yellow green. Whoops, there he goes. You want to use a frog as your focal point of your painting, but you may want to use a frog for an accent in your painting. For instance, if you're painting a duck and it's out near the water or uh, close to an uh, edge of clover like this, and the duck is a focal point, you may want to paint this frog for your accent for him. And uh, you could use him in different, oops, like this, that to walk very softly and don't leave any footprints out in the wild because you're trespassing upon somebody's home like this little frog.